Alrighty guys, it's your boy RPG fans. Let me show here with Arquista's ring for the NES as promised. Um, this game is kind of like Kokoma Nights in Busy Land where there's a lot of fucking stages or considered Adventures of Lolo since that's more of an NES game. Um, a lot of stages and it's it's very random. A lot of randomness in this game. I don't ever, I've never beaten this game simply just because I don't know if this game has an ending to it just because it's, it's such a fucking long game. It's literally like level after level very repetitive you will get pretty bored about this game pretty quickly um but they do do some interesting things like add power-ups to kill enemies faster and uh stuff of, of sorts of that stuff um can't even talk right now but uh yeah so i just did my golden eye uh live stream and that really didn't go too well just for the simple fact that i couldn't figure out what the hell to do it was a really good game i enjoyed golden eye a lot um but i really did not know actually what to do so this is another one of those games made by nintendo of america which they didn't really make a lot of games i think the last game uh, the last semi-decent good game they made was secret of um, evermore which really was supposed to be the take of secret of mana and second Tetsu 3 but actually didn't really sell too good uh, actually sell poorly um and uh, that was probably the last project they ever did for nintendo of america and um yeah some if you don't know, Nintendo's a Japan um, company, so that's why they put the America Inc. there. But yeah, this is a random ass game. It sucks. I really did want to continue to play GoldenEye, but I can't. Um, a lot of randomness in this shit. Uh, it's really just an action side scrolling shooter, a top down perspective like most NES games are. Um, I don't really know any other ways to explain this, but I do have my stream notes on the left hand side so you can, you know. Uh, that basically talks, a, gets a little bit more in, de in depth about the game. And uh, also, shout out to a couple of my uh, donators. Uh, of course, Tor17. Um, that's my man. Octa Inception, he's been around for a while. Um, just um, never really shouted him out until he started donating, which is pretty fucked up. But, you know, you know how that shit goes. Um, I didn't like the transition from 007's FMVs to their... 3d modeling it was just like oh shit that's bad so uh, i'm kind of glad i stopped playing that game um our next live stream after this though will be a gba game um i got my next live stream games up on the left hand side as well um welcome to the show i do retro games i do all types of games um uh, playstation 1 snes wonder swan uh, Sega Master System. I'm really an old school player not with the with the Xbox 360 and PS4 games just because those games take fucking forever to beat. So I like a little short game and you know back in the day these games were a lot more challenging than today's game. So um, try beating most of these games on the walkthroughs and I guarantee you won't uh, make it very far. So I haven't figured out how to get more continues but I, I think that's something that you get later on in the game. Um, so I guess without further ado, we can just start Arquista's Ring. I'm not a pro at this game. I haven't done any like playthroughs or no blind runs, um, but I have played the game in the past, so this is all based off of muscle memory, and let's just hope I actually know what I'm doing. So I might be lost for the first couple of half, but once I get the hang of it, things should be running a lot more smooth. Um, yeah, welcome to my stream. This is your boy RPG Fans Only Show. Without further ado, let's hop into Arquista's Ring for the NES. Okay, so like I said, this is like a shooter. Um, you do have enemies on the screen. Oh, I didn't turn around fast enough. And I took two hits there. That's not good. Um, you don't want to take this many hits early on. So I will be using stage states like I use in pretty much every other game. Um, but uh, yeah, you don't want to get hit a lot very early on just because they do give you a lot of enemies to uh, encounter. So... Oh, I ran straight into that. And the goal is to get the key, like Adventures of Lolo, to get to the next stage. And that just gave me an extra life. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so you complete every stage by basically collecting the key. I don't know how many stages there are, but I know there is a lot. Because I got at least to like stage 10 and I was still playing. So um, I just decided to stop playing after that because I feel like the game was just never ending. Um, so, yeah, Arquista's Ring. Um, another game I do want to play is another Bible for the uh, Game Boy. Um, but that game is in Japan only the game. Uh, I'm a little mad about that just because there was an English uh, translation for it. But of course, uh, 
I mean, Paradise got shut down and Aeon Genesis's uh, translations pretty much got destroyed. Um, and I took an L right there, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you do. And enemies don't respond when you die, so you can still keep going off where you left off at, not really having to worry too much. Um, a lot of these enemies are very deceiving in this game. And the likes that, uh... They will fuck you up, <laughs> and they will deceive you. You think they're like a physical melee, but they're really arranged. Um, these dogs are obviously always... Uh, always ranged. Alright, so this rearranges everybody, which gives me a better playing field. So this enemy is reminiscent of Firebrand from Ghouls and Goblins, or Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, pretty annoying enemy, kind of just runs around everywhere, makes it hard for you to get things done. So you will take damage if you run over those, so watch out. And uh, if you're wondering, no, you can't enter those houses, so don't don't attempt it. And it's really hard to kill that enemy. You, the only way you can kill that guy is if you like get lucky, like that, for instance. And even if you do, they just kind of respond back, so. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta go all the way around. Ah, damn it. Like I said, a very challenging game. You really have to be on points, and there is like a little bit of drawback when you move. You don't actually move as fast as you could move. Um, there are setbacks with the movement in this game. And uh, that's a little key factor that's going to get us killed a lot. A lot of deaths are going to occur in this game because of that. So I'm going to be replaying this game a couple times. Uh, I'm not going to try to do one credit this or just see as far as I can get with this. Um, I'm gonna, there's going to be a lot of deaths. But like I said, it's all about uh, getting familiar with the game. Okay, these guys. Um, I forgot what this does. I don't think you can do anything with this yet. Yeah, there's something you have to get in order to activate that. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. Um, one of these doors opens up but in order to activate them you have to kill an enemy I really do hate these type of levels because they're kind of annoying alright there you go there's a bit of randomness to this where you can enter any door you want um, but the key is that some of these doors are false, so if I hadn't killed all the enemies, this would have been a maze. This would have been a trial and error stage, but I'm just going to brush right through it. Um, go to take out most enemies. I don't think you take power-ups onto the next level, so you want to use them wisely. So they do give you a lot to carry onto the next level, but I don't think they stay active during the next level. So keep that in mind. If you have a really good power-up that you want to keep... Um, Word of advice, don't use this shit. <laughs> and I know people that LP'd this game. I watched a couple of LPs before I decided to do a live stream on it. And I didn't really think that LPing this game was entirely necessary. Um, that's a health potion. We'll be using that very soon. Um, OK, 
okay that gave us an extra item slot so a lot of randomness in this game nothing is automatically generated um, Some stages, uh, some stages, uh, requirements have to be met, like killing a specific amount of enemies. Um, yeah, we're gonna take that. Very easy, but quickly complicated game. So these guys are like the uh, red bones from Castlevania. Uh, they don't stay dead for long. And so yeah, some stages the the key pops up um, automatically. Other stages you gotta have a set requirement. We're gonna use this here. We're gonna use this so that way I can just walk through here. Thank you. Ah, oh, I fucking hate these things. So that's like a, a destroy all ability, extremely useful, and uh, all the enemies stay dead with that, so you don't have to worry about, you know, using it and then getting your ass handed to. Uh, it does not give you an invincibility frame, though. That is one thing that does suck, because I could have definitely used that right about now. I just, it's so satisfying to hit enemies with a, a fire rod. Okay. There's a certain way you have to do this. I have to remember how. There you go. I had no choice but to take damage. There was, it was literally gonna take forever. Some of these enemies have a set amount of moves that they can only that are programmed to do, so they won't really move from a position. Which adds to the randomness, I guess, because you don't know which enemies have those set type of moves. Oh, I took an L there. I'm just gonna load state. If you're wondering, you can't crawl back up, so. A one shop, one stop shop here. Okay, one of these guys, I gotta keep.
gotta keep my mind focused because I will die pretty quickly in this game. So I, I stopped playing this game at stage 10, so this is a little blind from here on out. I gotta start using more power-ups because if not it'll just be me wasting them. Oh what the fuck? Thank you. That's actually not good to be dying like that. I haven't been using my stave state, so I've been uh, lacking on that part, which will, as you can see, cost you a life. Okay. So you probably can't see, but we have five hearts. So it's all about luck, basically. I'm going to take a minute here to check the stream. Ghost Jack. Um, I'll see you later then, Ghost Jack. Um, I will be live streaming, like I said, the next GBA game, so you can tune in for that if you missed out on this full, you know, live stream. Um, Tour 17, I don't know when I'm going to be doing my next Let's Play, but I will let you know ahead of time. Um, for some reason, I still can't get YouTube to get the notification when I'm live streaming out. I don't know why that doesn't work. But I've yet to still fix it, so um, for now, it's just, you know, I just live stream and upload them. Um, which is my, my apologies about that. Is this game hard? No, not really. It's all about placement. Um, I don't really know too many games that are similar like this. Um... That's funny, that's funny you mentioned that too, because I I couldn't get into Babel No Toe. I, th I thought it was just a bad game. Sorry. I, th I thought it was just a bad game, completely. Couldn't understand the shit. Octa Inception, welcome to the stream. Thank you for your $5 donation. You're always donating, bro. I love you for that. Um, I even put your name up on my last live stream notes and I put you up on this one too as well. Um, yeah, welcome. We're playing Arquista's Ring for the NES. Yeah, that's funny too. I noticed that. I'm just kind of going in order, like GBA, 
I know I've been back and forth with it. I'm glad you guys finally caught on to that shit. I have been pretty back and forth with that, but you know, um, I'm with it now, so I guess, uh, I guess let's continue on. So those are safe havens like checkpoints basically. They restore your health. I actually did not know that. Okay. Change of music, I like that. I think that's beneficial for the game. Okay, so this guy is going to be a little harder to kill. Oh, he got me. Alright, let's start that over. So this is a boss battle, that's why the music has changed. Uh, there's a certain there's a certain way you have to attack him. Like uh which is through the walls. I was just trying to be bold and attack him head on, but uh, for some reason I can still never beat that boss head on, no matter how hard I, I brother tries. It's just not possible. And once you do that, basically most of the enemies are killed off screen. Take the key and head on to the next level. This time we'll be entering stage 16. So the game does progressively get harder. Um, I think I'm going to stop at stage 20 for this first live stream. Uh, just because, like I said, the game does get very repetitive. Thank you. I don't I, I don't need to use this quite yet. So there's multiple ways of entering this maze. And you're probably wondering how can you tell the difference uh, these trees are like colored differently like you see this one's a little different so you can enter it uh, this one right here is different but you can't enter it from this side um, so this one's different so I can enter it that's how you tell the difference which is probably not enough for you guys to understand 
But you know, I'm not going to get too physical with these guys. So what I'm going to do is just pop him so I can save my life. So I can enter this next stage with full health and a clear all ability. Yep. All right, so stage 20 or 21, I'll end this live stream because I still have to upload 007. I still haven't uploaded that yet. Sorry, guys. A little lackluster, I am. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm just going to do that. Go ahead and take my ass onto the next stage. Um, no, Tour 17, this game isn't um, endless. Um, Ghost Jack kind of said the same thing before he left. Um, but no, this game is not endless. There are a set amount of stages. Um, the game is very long though. That is, it gives the illusion of never ending. I didn't mean to take that hit. I'm just gonna restart that stage because I didn't mean to take that hit. Oh, I restarted the wrong fucking stage. I took way too many hits, I didn't mean to take as many hits as that, but I do get to enter this next stage with a power up. Fortunately I did, when you abuse save states, you kind of abuse when to use them as well. Oh. Alrighty, thumb is getting a little, don't want to abuse my thumb right now, because this game is long like I said. Can't kill those guys. So that's a little cheat I like to use. Uh, I call it restock. Basically wipe all the enemies off the screen and restock with their power-ups. And this should be the last guy. Collect the key. So yeah, like I said, there's a set amount of enemies you gotta kill to go to onto the next level. Sometimes it's randomly. Like in the first couple stages, they'll just automatically give you the key off the bat. But once we defeat the first boss, um, we won't be hitting the next boss until like level 23 or 24. But I don't wanna wait around stick around to see that because this is a long ass game all right so wipe those guys out so i have a better chance of just taking out the bones because those shooting guys are fucking annoying shooting slimes they're annoying as fuck um this will make it easier for me And they would make me traverse all the way the fuck back for that key. I mean, I could stick around and grind out for, like, uh, power-ups. But I'd rather not. Very intriguing. It gives me like a good star topic, just star tropics feel with the uh, music and stuff. I think the best music I've heard so far for the NES has to be for Willow. 
thought that was I thought that had a beautiful soundtrack. Like the the main the hub world, main town, whatever you want to call it, it has like beautiful ass music. And the way the game is animated was ahead for its time. Okay, I want to get rid of these guys because these guys are extremely fucking violent. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, that'll give me another advantage to get rid of those flying guys. And, uh, take the key. And let's move on to the next section. Alright, here goes fans. Stage 21, I'll probably be ending it here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is the second boss battle of this game. Um, pretty hard in regards that if you don't have a fire rod, you're not going to be able to beat this guy. But I have two health potions, a fire rod, a fleck mirror, and some armor. So I'm actually pretty good and I have two health points. I mean two lives, so... There's no way in hell I'm losing to this. If I lose to this guy, it's just because I'm stupid, straight up. Um, but this game was also inspired by Gameplay and Talks, uh, Mylon's Secret Castle, which inspired me to get back into retro gaming. I already set that at Kokoma and Night and Busy Land. And uh, also SNES Library and that format and those people who make the, these type of retro games. Because I'm really playing a lot of PS1 games lately, but I um, lately I've been hitting the retroness. So back to the NES, SNES, and those type of games. And uh, yeah, so really enjoy. I'll talk to you guys for a little bit. Check out stream. The stream is really blowing up. I got 17 people watching. I hit 184 subscribers, I think, the other day. 187, actually, on my way to 200. So if you guys can keep subscribing, leaving likes, I really do appreciate it. Um, I really got a lot of love on my Samurai Showdown games. Um, Tour 17, the reason why I don't make music anymore is because the shit really wasn't popping off. And so I just really, it was really like derogative, repetitive shit. And I didn't really want to rap anymore. So. I got back to the retro stuff and changed my name to Retro Boy Music Fan, so I will be making music in the future. It's on the way. I just have to get better equipment to record, you know. Um, so yeah, Zosto, welcome to the stream. Uh, you're a little bit late, bro. We're kind of ending this stream right about now, but uh, we're playing Arquista's Ring for the N NES. Um, everything you need to know is on the left-hand side of the stream notes, information on the game, um, top donators, and our next live stream games. And uh, we're on stage 21, I'm about to beat this boss and end this live stream, so um, you're a little late to the series, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I did just upload 007 where I need to upload it, um, so by the time you get this, uh, 007 will should already be uploaded. Um, I just did that short stream, it's only like 25 minutes, and uh, we won't be playing that game anymore. Then, uh, yeah. Probably be going on another hiatus for a bit, and we'll be back at it again. But without further ado guys, let's kill this boss and... Let's get this shit popping. Oh, there's no way in hell. He should have not took that much life from me, so what I'm going to do here is retry that. Oh, we actually got a better shield, so that was that's a plus plus. We're not going to be able to beat this guy because I didn't get my fire rod. Um, so let me retry that. The only way we're going to be able to beat this next boss is if we grind for that fire rod. Oh, and it's in a place I can't get it. Okay. Try that again. There it goes. Alright, we're good. Make sure I save now. This will be the last save state of the game. Stage 21, I'm going to wait to use my fire rod until I can uh, manage to get some of these bats out the way. You can really get lucky if you just stay in a straight line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this here. And 
had to get rid of that guy just like that. <laughs> Bosses in this game are very boring as fuck. They're not even worth the challenge. Um, they're not worth the challenge whatsoever. But uh, if you don't have power-ups, then that's where the difficulty becomes because then you can't really beat them. So the only way you can actually beat them is if you get a power-up that's powerful enough to take it out. And clear all abilities don't really work. You have to use a fire rod or another type of rod. Um, that is literally the only way. So keep that in mind. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream um, of our Keystone's Ring for the NES. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And uh, yeah, we will be back coming soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to, you know, leave a comment, something in below, give me some feedback. And I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. When we come back with uh, a GBA game, um, that will be our next live stream. So keep in tune for that, guys. Uh, Golden Eye, um, we're done with that. So yeah, I will see you guys until then. As always, fans. Bye-bye.